Hello and welcome to Out of Bounds with Shannon Shepard, a special mini-series that features an all-access look at the lives of St. Bonaventure athletes off the field and off the court. And for our very first interview, I'm very excited to welcome Emmett O'Connor, a men's soccer player here at St. Bonaventure. Now, Emmett, you're a sophomore, correct? Yep. So you're a sophomore in your second year. Let's just go over what you did last year. First of all, you were named A-10 Co-Rookie of the Week. You were selected to the A-10 All-Rookie First Team. You were an A-10 All-Conference Honorable Mention. You led the Bonnies with five goals, and your seven assists led the entire conference, and you're second in the Atlantic 10 for game-winning goals. That's a lot right there. Yeah. So you're going into your second season here, and how do you build on that? What are your goals? Uh, I think my goal is just to win games. I don't really focus on that. Just want to get back in the tournament, hopefully build on what we did last year, do a little better. Now you're coming into your second season here. How did you prep this summer after your first collegiate experience as a soccer player? Well, uh, the club team I play for, like back home, there's a lot of people that go to schools in the states, like different areas. So we all just get back together, play for a uh, men's team. And then, so that's pretty good. And I stay fit that way. Now back home, you told me you're from um, near Toronto, yep. Canada. And so how did you get your start in soccer? Isn't it pretty cold up there in Toronto? Yeah, well, my dad's from Ireland, so when he came over, he was big into soccer there, or football there, and so he got my brothers into it, and I have two older brothers, so when they started, I guess I just kept on going with where they left off and started playing. Now your two older brothers, you told me earlier they played a little bit of college soccer themselves? Yep, I have one that still plays for Laurentian University, it's called, in Sudbury, and one's done with college now, and he played for the, his college, Centennial College. So is there ever any competition between the O'Connor brothers and who's the better soccer player? Uh, not really. We don't really, we're not really like, a, like that, I guess. Now, earlier we said you're from Canada. So how did you end up at this St. Bonaventure, this small school in Western New York? Uh, my coach that I've played for back in Canada, he actually is friends with Mel or he knows him well or something like that. So I guess he talked to him. We came down to a tournament and Mel came and watched and then started emailing me, started talking from there. Were you looking at any other schools? I mean, what was it about Bonaventure that drew you in here? Uh, well, I was kind of interested in going to an American school. I thought it would be neat to come here. And I guess I came, visited, really liked it. was a small, like, close-knit kind of thing. And plus, it's really close to home. So that was pretty much the deciding factor. Yeah. And so being from Toronto, I know that's a couple hours away. Is your family ever able to come and see you play? Yep, they've come to, uh, they came to a few games last year. They've already been up to uh, one this year and they'll be up to more for sure. Cool. All right, now Emmett O'Connor, star soccer player for this men's soccer team. What's a normal day in your life like when you're in season? Uh, well, today we woke up, started practice at 6, and then went to 7.30, and I had class at 8.30, went through the day during my classes, and then went back to my room around 2, and then came back here for 3 o'clock. Any Just, nap? Any nap in between there? Have a little bit I try, of I try to as, as much as I can, but not today, but <laughs> I do a lot, yeah. Now we see you're wearing number 22 here. Is there any, you know, players have different reasons why they wear yeah. different numbers. Do you have a reason why you're number 22? Uh, well, I was 22 in high school, and I came here and he assigned us numbers based on, I think it was alphabetical or something like that, and I got 22, so really? I guess kind of lucky, so I just kept it now, yeah, and um, I know before when we talked earlier, you told me there's a funny story about your roommate who yeah. also plays on the team here. What's that all about? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't know who my roommate was coming in, and then turns out he's, I played him in school soccer back home, like for high school, and we got in a fight in one of our games, actually, and that didn't end so well. And then on the first day, saw him, realized I'd you're that kid. Mm. <laughs> it was kind of awkward at first, but I guess now we're best friends. So. You're best friends. Yep. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and roommates Worked now, out. right? Yep, still roommates. All right, now, in all of these episodes of Out of Bounds, we're going to do a quick 10 in which I ask the players questions, and they just have to react right away. You have to tell me what you think right off the bat, and we'll just go with it from there. Okay, are you ready? Yep. You're on the hot seat. Okay. Okay. Ready. All right, would you rather live in the United States or back in Canada? Canada. Uh, your favorite place to eat on campus? RC. Your favorite professor? Dr. Paula. Would you rather bike the Allegheny River Trail or rollerblade it? Bike. Oh, I'd rollerblade myself. <laughs> uh, would you rather look like Ronaldinho or play like Ronaldinho? Play like Ronaldinho. Really? Sure. Read the BV, read the BV or listen to the buzz? Listen to the buzz. Ooh, good. I like that answer. Mac or PC? Mac. Got a Mac. 
Me too. Uh, fly or read minds? Read minds. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. And the worst Claire class you think you're going to have to take while you're here? Mm, religious tax. Religious tax over Natty. That's a shocker. Oh, probably not even. Natty? Yeah. Didn't think about that. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, Emmett, thanks so much for sitting down with us on no Out problem. of Bounds. Uh, you'll be able to see a lot of action from Emmett right here on the soccer field and kicking balls right into this goal, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you stay tuned to Go Bonnies for multiple episodes of Out of Bounds with Shannon Shepard. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.